Mistakes, mate. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me. Uh, 22 minutes past six here on BBC Radio Solent. It's Luther until seven. And now a charity event with a bit of a difference now. Per- purchasing a yacht and sailing to the north of Scotland uh, is all to raise money for cystic fibrosis. And to tell me more, I'm joined by Roger Comer from Barton on Sea. Lovely to talk to you, Roger. Tell me more then about this idea. Yes, this is a really interesting challenge. Together with my, my friend, Mike, we've uh, sailed together for many years and we felt we needed uh, to do something a little bit special and unfortunately his son suffers from cystic fibrosis so we thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, embark on this endeavour and at the same time raise some money for the Cystic Fibrosis Trust. So explain more about the plan then, uh, how far you've got, what exactly you're going to be doing. We plan to sail uh, intermittently, not full-time. Um, we've taken the first big step, which is to find a yacht, and uh, over the next couple of months we'll be getting that ready for the, uh, for the event. Um, we anticipate leaving mid-May, in fact on the 17th of May, and the first part, so this year, we will sail from the Solent uh, up to the north of Scotland, um, fairly relaxed schedule, probably sail for a week and then leave the boat at Marina and take a couple of weeks off uh, and then go back and, and move it a bit further. So that's all going to be over the sort of the, the summer period, is it? Are you aiming to do it over? Yes, that's correct. Um, I think a lot of people have sailed around the UK in all sorts of trying conditions. We feel that we'll take it a little bit more um, uh, leisurely and just sail in the summer months, uh, first leg to the north this year mm-hmm. and then next year we'll come from Scotland back down to the Solent. So you said then that you've sourced the yacht which was the the, the, the most sort of challenging part so far. Tell me more about what you're, you're going to be sailing in. Uh, we've uh, just purchased a Bavaria 37 so it's 37 feet long. Mm-hmm. It has eight berths um, and it's a fairly standard, quite a common yacht. There's a lot of them around in the Solent. I always refer to it as the sort of Ford Mondeo of the sailing world. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean, and even people who aren't into, into yachts will know exactly what you mean as a result of that. What preparations have you got to make to it then? Um, we've got to make sure that it's fully equipped from a safety point of view. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got to make sure it's 100% uh, seaworthy. We've had a very extensive survey carried out, and that has um, thrown up a few bits and pieces we need to do. And it's really just going to be getting it ready for us and in the sort of condition that we would like to have it in for this journey. And, and how are you going to be raising the money then? Is it sort of through sponsorship? Um, and what, what, are you, what are you hoping to do? Well, we've been very fortunate. We have uh, a number of sponsors. Um, some of the details are on our, our website, which I'll give you later. Uh-huh. Um, so we have some sponsors. But what we also are doing is... We're asking people who come along and crew with us because it will uh, ideally need more than the two of us. Um, we're asking people who come and crew to make a donation to the Cystic Fibrosis Charity. What kind of target do you have in mind then of how much you want to raise? Well, we're not uh, setting a limit, but with you know, if you were to charter a boat, say four or five people were to charter a boat for a week, you'd probably be paying £200 each as a charter fee. Okay, so that gives you a bit of an idea of, of what, you're, what you're hoping for, at least. What kind of challenges are you expecting along the way, then? Well, we think, and of course most sailors are identified with this, the weather is probably the main one. Mm-hmm. Um, sailors do a lot of planning and then frequently find that uh, it has to be done again and again <laughs> as the weather changes. <laughs> but um, we're, we're going to be sailing, certainly... Um, uh, in the uh, higher latitudes up from north of England and Scotland where the weather tends to be a little bit more inclement than, than here on the south coast. Um, so we will have to be just a little bit more cautious about looking at the weather forecast and making decisions about our passage planning. And, and you're well experienced at this kind of stuff then? Yes, Mike and myself are both qualified yacht masters. Uh-huh. Uh, we've both been sailing for quite a long time. Um, one of the great things actually about the, the, the combination of the two of us is we do share the same values around um, safety in particular. Right. Um, uh, you know, I don't think it would be appropriate to uh, 
to embark on something like this, particularly if we take crew on board that we're not Indeed, familiar with, yeah. um, in, in something which there's an element of risk. And we tend to say, no, if it's risky or the weather's bad, we'll probably stay in the marina. And I don't blame you at all. So you mentioned that the website address, Roger, what is it if people want to find out more about what you're going to be doing? Yes, the website is uh, www.thebluestar, all one word, thebluestar.co.uk. Okay, nice and easy to remember. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on uh, taking it on, first of all, and uh, good luck with it all. I'll tell you what we'll do, actually. We'll catch up with you in May and see how it all goes. Okay, that will be absolutely fantastic. Right. Thank you very much for, uh, for having me on. We will look forward to talking to you again, Roger. Thank you very much indeed, Roger Comer from Barton on Sea. That website address, again, if you want to find out more, thebluestar.co.uk.